Hello everyone, welcome to Minimal Mindful Mama. Happy 2024. Today we're going to be talking about 24 things that you can declutter to live your best life in 2024. In today's video, I really want to encourage you to live your life with intention. We don't want to just go through life kind of doing things because it's how we've always done them when maybe it's not what would work best for you and maybe it's not even what you really actually want. So I just want to encourage you to think about the things that you're doing, think about the way that you're parenting or the choices that you're making or what your day-to-day -day life looks like and make sure that that's aligned with what your priorities are. This is something that we all need to do from time to time. It's something that I am doing on a constant basis of reevaluating and looking at the choices that I'm making and trying to determine if this is the way that I want to be living. I want to live intentionally in everything that I do, and so I do try to be very mindful around that. If you've been here long, you know that for me, part of that is living a more minimal lifestyle. A few years ago, I realized that my clutter was massively stressing me out and that I needed to declutter and live more intentionally so that I wasn't spending all of my time focusing on organizing all of my clutter, but that I could have more freedom in my life to pursue the things that were actually priorities to me. However, minimalism isn't going to be for everyone. Each person is going to have a different level of stuff that they're comfortable with. So for some people, you are going to be more of a minimalist type of person and maybe clutter really stresses you out. And so living very minimally is going to be what you want and what will work best for you. For other people, you're going to want to have more things in your home. Everyone will fall somewhere on the scale from extreme minimalism to extreme maximalism and you need to determine what will work best for you. However, I do think that minimalism has some concepts that are helpful for everyone. For instance, everyone will need to declutter something at some point in their lives. And so it's helpful to have ideas for that and know the mind frame around that, which is why I found that reading minimalist type books or watching videos on minimalism have been really helpful to me in my decluttering. And it's why I like to make these kind of videos to try to help other moms as well to incorporate some of these concepts into their lives and their thinking because I truly do think that there's something in there to help everyone. Minimalism isn't about the amount of stuff that you have, but the amount of stuff that you have will play into it as the season you're in changes. If you have children, you probably are going to need more things than if you live on your own. And so while your possessions shouldn't really be your focus, it is an aspect of our lives that will change and will develop as our lives go on. So approaching our possessions with intention and with mindfulness can be very helpful in making sure that we are living to our fullest potential. So the first thing that you can declutter is the screenshots on your phone. You can also go through your photos if you'd like and declutter any that aren't needed. But screenshots especially seem to accumulate quickly and then they're not always needed beyond a certain date. And so you can go ahead and delete those and free up some space on your phone. The second thing you can declutter is your email inbox. I like to keep mine very minimal. This may look different for you. Maybe you'll go through and just delete a few emails that you don't need each day. But keep in mind that your digital clutter can also clutter your mind. Third thing that you can declutter is any junk mail that you still have in your home. I used to have a designated spot that I would pile all the mail when it came and now instead I just immediately go through it and throw out any junk mail. So if you have a spot in your home that you pile this, this is a great opportunity to go through that pile and throw out anything that you don't need. The fourth thing that you can declutter is any papers that you no longer need. There may be bills that you've already paid or things that no longer apply. So you can go through your desk area and make sure that everything is cleaned up and organized and ready for 2024. Number five, go through your books, any that you have no intention of reading or that you're ready to pass along to someone else. Can it be decluttered? To make room for you to read new things and learn new things in 2024. 
any pens that no longer work can quickly be decluttered. I love things like this that I can get rid of with no thought whatsoever. There's no sentimental value or reason why I might want to hold on to them. Similarly, any socks you have that have holes in them can be thrown out or used for cleaning rags. Worn out towels are another great option to declutter. You can actually donate these to pet shelters as well. And any items that are broken that you may be holding on to to repair that you haven't gotten around to yet, determine if you will actually fix these. And if not, you can let go of them. You can go through the condiments in your refrigerator and any expired items can be thrown away. Any expired makeup can be thrown out as well as expired first aid items. If you have any cleaning supplies that you maybe tried and didn't love or that you just don't ever use, you can give these away or declutter them as well. Any candles that you maybe have left over from the holiday season that are used up or that you didn't prefer can be decluttered. If you've been holding on to old manuals for say appliances or vacuums or any sorts of things like that. These can easily be found online now. So I've actually discovered that you can declutter these manuals because they are so easy to access. If you have CDs or DVDs that you no longer use, you can declutter these. So much music and video is now through streaming services that these items can be obsolete. But if there's something that you still use and enjoy, then that would not be something for you to declutter. Any old magazines that you're finished with can be sent along as well. If you have any gift cards that you've used up or that are empty, don't forget to throw these out. If you have children now after the holidays when they may have received some new exciting toys, can be a great time to go through some of their old stuff that they may have outgrown or moved down from and you can declutter their toys. If you have a clothing that does not fit you or the lifestyle that you currently lead or that simply is uncomfortable and you can't actually wear it for an entire day without wanting to change, this is the year to not put it back on a hanger in the closet but to let go of it and to only wear and have items in your closet that make you feel good about yourself. You can also declutter other people's expectations for you. It's up to you to decide what works best for you and for your family. And just because everyone else does something a certain way, it doesn't mean that that's going to work well for you. You can also try to declutter some of the expectations you have for yourself. If you have very high standards for yourself, if you are a go-getter, goal-oriented type of person, then maybe 2024 is the year for you to focus on decluttering some of those high expectations you have for yourself and letting yourself be the person that you are and letting go of some of the negative self-talk that you have in your brain so that if you're not meeting this impossibly high standard you're setting for yourself, that you can remind yourself that you are a human and that you are doing an awesome job with what you have right now and don't allow yourself to be too critical of yourself. Finally, in 2024, I want to encourage you to declutter from your life anything that isn't working for your current lifestyle. This may be activities, it may be things on your calendar, it may be your schedule, it may be expectations, whatever it is for you and your family that is not working or is causing a lot of stress right now, put some time and effort into thinking through how you can declutter those things and how you can create a simpler life for yourself and your family. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like down below as well as subscribe to my channel. If you ring the little bell button and that way you'll get notified when I upload new videos. I hope you'll check out some of my previous videos as well. Happy 2024, happy decluttering, and I'll see you very soon in the next video.